Welcome back everyone to the channel. This is May. It doesn't look like May in here. It looks like it's like dark gloomy, just the way I love it. It is May and time is flying by and I just can't believe it. It's finally May. I, I, I literally cannot believe it. And that means it is another TBR video. No manga this month. I'm taking a break from manga. I'm going to be starting manga in June. I have a stack and one book is like half the stack. So, yeah, one comic book. I did a poll a couple months ago and asked if you guys wanted me to review some comic books. And a lot of people said, yeah. So I actually bought one and I'm pretty excited to try and out, see how it is. We'll get into that when we get to it. I do every month, every one self-published book every single month because that's just what I like to do. I think it's good as an indie writer myself. It's fun to read self-pub books because some self-pubs are just better than regular books, like traditional published books and it's just a fact where i live locally i actually sell my own book at a local bookstore and this author also sells her book there so i decided to pick it up because why not it's pretty cool if you guys know what argo books is in grand rapids you guys should go check it out it's really cool it's a used bookstore it's dope and my book's there and so is heart of amber no idea what this book's about but i bought it because it's self-pub and it's signed so that's even cooler Anyways, though, so this is my self-pub book for the month, Heart of Amber. No idea, like I said, no idea what it's about. It gives me, like, a gothic tone just because the cover alone, and that's why I really like already. I'm already down for that, so, like, gothic tone, self-pub, I'm down. That's all I need. So, in October, I did a 24-hour reading challenge, and I read an, a very, very popular author during that time, and I read Halloween Tree, and it was more of a kid's book. But I did read it, and it was all right. And I felt bad because I was like, man, this really sets the tone for this author who is so popular. And I was like, I got I to do something different. So I decided we're going to read Something Wicked This Way Comes because Ray Bradbury. I, I believe he wrote Fahrenheit 451 too. All I know is this author is just really, really good. And I need to read something that's not a kid's Halloween book. But... Halloween Tree was just a really short book. That's why I kind of picked up. It was like 80 pages. But anyway, something wicked this way comes. I know it's about a circus. <sighs> That's all. I just know it's about a circus. I don't know anything else about this book. But this book does... <laughs> this book I hear a lot of good things about. I hear nothing but great things actually about this book. So I decided, I'm like, I have to read this book. Because the cover is just wicked. <laughs> And I need to read this. So yeah, this is on my TV. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's about. And that's why I'm going in with almost all these books. I really like that. That's usually what I do. I don't try to read the back, the blurbs or anything. I just read the book. But yeah, something wicked this way comes. I'm actually excited to read this one. So in October every year, I watch a really popular franchise for horror. And last year I did Scream, which I did watch most of Scream anyways. I'm a really big fan of Scream. But this year I was like, we're going to change it up. And we're gonna do Hellraiser, and I found out Hellraiser is actually a book. It's a really short book, so I decided the hell with it. We're gonna read some Hellraiser, and that's what we're gonna do. Hellraiser in May. This book's super short. It's like 161 pages, and the texts are pretty big. And I was like, all right, we're gonna do it. And I didn't know Clive Barker actually is a writer. I knew he is the one that created Hellraiser, and I think he directed the first Hellraiser, or he wrote the script. One or the other, or he did both, I don't remember. But I didn't know he, it was a book. So I decided, yeah, we gotta pick this up. And it's a really short one. And if I like this enough, I'm probably gonna check out more of Clive Barker's books. And I was told he's, his books are really good. They're really, really scary. And I was like, well, yeah, he created Hellraiser. Like Hellraiser's like super iconic. So I gotta check it out. But yeah, we're gonna do Hellbound Heart. That's what it's called. But yes, I'm very excited for this. You can see Penhead. And I cannot wait to see where this goes. I don't know too much. I just know there's like a puzzle box and pinhead. That's literally all I know about Hellraiser. So I was like, all right, we, we got to do this. And I cannot wait. So this is a weird book I got, but my mom gave me a bunch of books. So this is one of them. And I'm the type that likes to try to read everything I have on my shelf before I buy books. And I've been buying books, but it's like not as much as I used to. And I'm actually getting to the point where most of these books I have, I've actually been almost reading. So that's really exciting as well. 
and this book isn't much different, but I have no idea what this book is about. And I think it's it's one I think it's one of those things that's like it's like a historical thing, but it's a little different. I don't know. I don't actually know. It's stalking Jack the Ripper. I have this one, I have the Dracula one, and then I have the Houdini one. I don't know anything about these books. But like my mom told me they're really good and it's small and most of these books books i picked for me are pretty short books because i have one mammoth of a book i have to read in may and i don't know how i'm looking forward to that but that's what i'm reading in may i don't know anything about this it looks interesting so we're gonna figure out if i really really like it if not we'll know but i will review it because that's what i do but yeah i don't know anything about this book i just think it looks kind of cool so that, that's that's all i got for you guys this year, my reading goals was to finish the Wheel of Time and be caught up with the Stormlight Archive. And if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know I have not read book three or four yet of the Stormlight Archive, and that is because we are reading Oathbringer this month. Look at this freaking tome, dude. Like, I even have the audiobook ready because I need to get through this book. And I have, I have never read, tried to read so many big books every month and i'm very impressed that i haven't felt like fatigued or burnt out yet but i think it's because i'm putting so many other genres of books in here that i don't feel like i'm burning out which is what i want to do it's it's a tome i do remember what happens in book two so book three is gonna be really fun and i know book three is gonna be dalinar's backstory so i'm actually pretty excited to see that as well but with Oathbringer, we're going to get through this one. And then I think it's going to be September is when I do Rhythm of War, I think. Uh, yeah, because then I have Memory of Light for November. And then Winds and Truth is going to be in December. So I'll be officially all caught up with Stormlight and I'll be finished with Wheel of Time. But yes, Oathbringer book three. This tome of a book is going to be gnarly to read. And I cannot wait to read it. And then we could talk about it in a really long, probably 20 minute video. And I just can't wait. <laughs> We've talked about earlier in this video that I am going to try and read comic books too once in a while. And I'm a very big fan of DC and James Gunn announced his slate of movies. And one of them caught my eye was Supergirl. And I was like, you know what? I've never actually read any Supergirl comics. The movie that he is going to do is based off of a comic book series called Supergirl World of Tomorrow. And I looked into it and it's just a little mini one that I ended up buying. And yeah, it's nothing wild. I just don't read American comics too much. Like my favorite comic book characters is like Spider-Man and I like a little bit of Batman. And then I like, like Daredevil, Deadpool. I like a lot of characters. And I read mostly Amazing Spider-Man. So I just didn't know if i should review any and you guys said yeah you should so i decided we're gonna do supergirl world of tomorrow is the first one we're gonna do and i'm pretty excited about it i know bits and pieces of this i know that supergirl like loses her powers which is really cool because if you guys know superman and supergirl the kryptonians are basically invincible so with this that she has no powers it's actually gonna be pretty fun to check out I don't know anything else with this book. I'm really excited. I think it's cool. And then I saw like the actress who was uh, in Game of not Game of Thrones, House of Dragon. She is Supergirl. So it's Millie Alcock. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's Supergirl. And then I was like, all right, we're gonna read this bad boy and we're gonna see if this is good. And I was told this is a really good Supergirl story. So I'm actually excited. Those are all my books I'm reading for the month of May. Let me know if you guys are reading any of these books or just let me know which books you guys have read from the stack and if they are actually good or if you guys didn't really like them. I just want to hear what you guys think about books. What you guys are reading for the month of May? That'd be awesome to hear as well. Make sure you guys check out all my socials down below. And of course, make sure you guys stay safe, stay hungry, and tell someone you love them. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.